Hello everyone, in this video we're going to continue to explore how you can achieve full marks for section A for AS paper 2 of your AQA English Literature A level. So, we've already looked at the mark scheme and how that needs to be distributed across your answer in order to achieve perfect marks. So let's move on now. So how do I plan for a full mark response for section A? Well obviously you read your question carefully, making sure to underline the key parts. Then, read the extract with the question in mind. So you may need to read it more than once to establish the basic meaning. That's absolutely fine. But again, remember, you're looking with the question in mind here to figure out, well, what am I doing? What am I exploring? And start to develop your ideas. So decide how far you agree with the question statement and note that down. Because obviously that will then form the basis of your argument because obviously that is all part of your AO1. Now, to prove that your argument is right, you need to think about your AO2 and your other elements of the assessment objectives. So focus on your form, structure and language, as well as its context. And consider how the way in which the writer has created the text proves that you are correct. You want to be coming up with probably two, three separate points, or you might very well want to come up with one central argument and then explore two, three, or even four different areas of the text which support your argument. Once you've done that, obviously, Proofread that plan because a perfect plan means you're going to create a perfect response. Let's look at a question then, shall we, so we can focus on our writing. Brooklyn by Colm Toybin was published in 2009 based on the experiences of a young woman, Ellis Lacey, after recently emigrating to 1950s New York from Ireland. She meets an Italian American, Tony, and begins a relationship with him. Tony informs Ellis that he is in love with her and plans to have her children. Explore the perception that the character Tony is presented as a selfish lover in this extract. Make close reference to writer's methods in your response. So you can see you've got aspects of context. So you know you're looking at a modernist piece. We know that we're looking at an American-based piece of literature here in terms of its setting. And our focus, Tony is presented as a selfish lover. Well, straight away I'm going to start to think about feminist arguments, feminist readings, and the notion of patriarchal roles, etc., etc. before I even begin. And then what we do is we read through our extract, read it through once, read it through twice, we start to make our notes of analysis to see if indeed that does clearly become the case. When I was planning, these are some new ideas. So my debate I wanted to create here was Tony can be considered selfish as the character never requests the opinion of the other. However, the biased nature of the narrative voice, remember it's a female narrating here, creates a bias towards the character Ellis, which suggests at the very least a lack of certainty which could be said to be selfish. Then here's a couple of my points. I will look at his selfishness as part of my argument. I will look at her selfishness as part of the argument. You can see language form structure being used here and also as well alternative interpretations and context. Once I proofread it, I start thinking about then writing my response. So thank you and when you're ready, let's proceed to the next video.